Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing step by step on how to load 30-06 Springfield. The first step, as always, go ahead and lube your cases, get them ready to be resized and decapped. Next step, we're going to head over to the press. We're going to go ahead and resize and decap them. Alright, we're over here at the press. We're going to go ahead and resize, deprime, and then we're going to reprime them. Spring back up. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I need to put another four before under my bench. We're only going to load eight rounds just for time's sake. Now we got eight pieces of brass resized with new primers in them. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go over to the cam lock trimmer. We're going to go ahead and trim these down. See y'all over there. Alright, we're over here at the trimmer. As always, uh, whenever you shoot brass or you pick brass up from the range, you should always check and see what the length of your brass is. And always reference back to your manual for what the, the correct trim length is and ensure that your brass is within limits. If not, you're going to have chambering issues and a lot of other things. But I already have my Hornady cam lock trimmer set up. So we're just going to go ahead and size some brass. Go ahead and check the size on it and see where it's at. Two point see if I can get in the camera. Two point four eight four. That's where you want it to be at. That's the book spec for trim length. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then I'll see you guys whenever I'm chamfering and deburring these. Alright, so I didn't have to trim very much at all off this brass. It was pretty close. It didn't stretch very much. But I'm still going to go ahead and chamfer and deburr it just in case. But it won't take much at all. I'll go ahead and run through all these real quick.
Alright, next step we're going to head over to the press and we're going to get ready to load. Okay, so now we're back over here at the press. Our brass has been resized, deprimed, then we've reprimed it, then we trimmed it, and chamfered and deburred it. And now we're ready to load. I already got my powder throw set up to where I'm getting the correct charge. And now all I got to do is set up my bullet seating depth and we'll be ready to rock and roll. I'm loading with 45 grains of H4895 pushing a 180 grain round nose Hornady interlock. So I'm, right now I'm just trying to get my brass close to the cantilever. Once I start getting close enough, I'll start doing smaller increments and start checking it with calipers to make sure I'm close to the right length. So now I'm starting to drop in to the cantilever. I'm going to go ahead and grab my calipers and measure the book calls for 3 3.210 3.21 one. So I'll go ahead and adjust just a little bit. All right. Go ahead and crimp. On bigger calibers like this, I usually like to do them a little bit slower and do them one by one like this and check each one of them because this is, costs a little more money to make and whenever I go shoot, I'm going to want my bigger caliber rounds to be spot on every time just for the simple fact that the price difference you're not going to want to sit there and have to shoot a whole box of shells to figure out where your rifle's shooting. You're going to want to be able to throw two of these in, have your gun sighted in for these rounds, and be ready to roll. <clears throat> so you should never have issue too bad with that anyway. Unless you're real shaky or something like that, having a hard time shooting that day. Got three more left. Then I'll show you guys the finished product. These 30 out six are so long for this. Hornady lock and load press that you sometimes you have to actually kick them to the side just a little bit to get them to set in the die. It's like if you watch when I go to put the bullet on top of this piece of brass, 
if I try to do it like this, it'll bump. You actually have to put the bullet inside the die and run the brass up to it. And then set it on there like that. Alright, this will last one. See what I mean right there? See how it catches? Gotta kick it over just a little bit because these are so long. These round nose, they want them made so long. But now we got the finished product. 30-06 Springfield with a Winchester primer, large rifle primer. A 180 grain round nose with factory crimp and we're ready to go to the range. Until next time guys.